Hand gestures are commonly used by teachers while teaching. These gestures are used not just to teach numbers, but also as a visual mnemonic to anchor points in the minds of the students. For example, they gesture with their five fingers and say things like five things every student should do every day or five life stages of a butterfly, etc. This visual mnemonic of the fingers of a hand are easily remembered and recalled by children. The question is, is there a way we can incorporate this powerful visual mnemonic as part of our PowerPoint presentation while teaching? The answer is yes, and I'll show you how today. The first thing you need for that is a hand showing these gestures. I happen to come across this interesting graphic at pixabay.com that shows these five numbers as gestures of a hand. I will leave a link to this graphic in the description box below the video. You can go ahead and download the image either as a PNG or if you're using Office 365, you can download it as SVG because that allows you to ungroup the image and use it the way you want. Here I have downloaded the image and pasted it on a PowerPoint slide. Then I ungrouped it and these individual hands are isolated like this. Of course, if you're not using Office 365, you can always download it as PNG and you can cut the individual images and it'll serve just the same purpose. Now, how do we incorporate these fingers as part of our PowerPoint slide? One obvious way is to use them as a substitute for numbers like this. While it is a good idea, it is not necessarily the best idea that you can think of for using these images. The reason is, as you can see, there is a lot going on in the slide and it can overwhelm the audience. So a better way of using this is to apply a simple custom animation like this and reveal your points one at a time. For example, I can talk about my first point by clicking like this and then the second, the third, the fourth and the fifth. Now I'll show you an even better way of using these images and that is what is going to be the tutorial for today. Before I show you that, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. We help professionals like you create engaging presentations. The graphic that we are going to create today looks like this. When you want to show five things to remember, on a click we show the first image like this then see how this image changes as I click. It looks like a motion graphic created with Adobe After Effects, isn't it? Watch again. On a click, 0 0.3, 0 0.4 and 0.5. You can use the same slide for a countdown as well. All you need to do is to use the up arrow or the page up so you can count the numbers from reverse. Like for example, these are the five points and then the fourth one, the third one, the second one and the first one. So how did we achieve this interesting effect? It's very, very simple and I'll show you how. Let us select all of these elements and then say align bottom so everything is aligned properly and then say align center and all of them are one above the other. Now let us select everything, hold the shift button down so you can expand this from the corner so everything scales up properly so we have this available on one side. The next thing you do is to write your text on the right hand side. You can use a text box and write these bulleted lists. Since we are using five numbers, we have five of these elements written down. Now the next step is to apply custom animation. So the hand comes first and then the corresponding label is shown. Now we need to select the first one, which is number one. To do that, we need to ensure that everything is placed properly. So I'm going to use a simple guide. So it is easy for me to place these elements one after another. So let me go to grid and guides and I'm going to use simple guides. So the first one is going to be here. So the horizontal position is fixed and the vertical position can be fixed by this vertical guide and I'm going to keep this over here. So this guide is going to help me place everything properly. So this is number five, number four, number three, number two. So we want number one to be animated first. So let us select this, go to animations and say this is going to appear. And as soon as it appears, we want the first element to be wiping from left. So let us go to wipe from left. Let us go to animation pane so you can clearly see what we have got here. And this happens with previous. Then we're going to have number two appear. So we are going to select this and bring it to front and then place this exactly as per the guide. Since we have the guide, it is easy for us to snap it to the specific position. Now we are going to have appear so the second number appears and while that happens, we want the earlier one to disappear. So I'm going to select this 
add animation. This is very important. Since we already have one animation assigned to this, we need to add animation. And at the same time as the second one appears, we want this to disappear. Okay. So these two things happen simultaneously. So with previous, so I can place this right above this. Right after that, we want to have this second element wiping from left. And this happens with previous. Now, let me show you this on a slideshow. First one and second one. Can you see it appears as if the finger has opened up and that is the beauty of this very interesting graphic. We are going to repeat the same thing for number three, four and five. So let us select this and apply the same appear. And then let us apply the disappear animation to this number two by going to add animation and say disappear. So these two will happen with previous. So now we can bring this one directly in front. So let us right click and bring it to front and then place it using the guide that we have already got. So number three is done. And right after that, we are going to have this text wipe from left. And this is going to be with previous. The same way, let us have number four appear. And while that happens, we will have number three disappear. So add animation disappear with previous. And then we will have number four wipe from left. And this also happens with previous. So let us bring number four to the front and place this exactly on top of the previous one. And finally, we will have this one appear. And while it happens, we will have number four disappear. We will have this with previous. And number five is going to be wiping from left with previous as we had done earlier. So bring this to front and let us place this exactly on top of the previous one. That is all. There is nothing else to it. Let us go to slideshow and see how the animation works. On a click, we have number one shown and the first point is shown. And on a click, we have the first one disappear and the next one appear and that is the reason why it looks as if the finger has opened up and we have the second one shown and then the second one disappears the third one appears and this happens simultaneously fourth and fifth so that is the secret behind creating this beautiful motion graphic like animation if you don't want the bottom portion of the hand to show all you need to do is to use a simple mask so let us go to shapes go to rectangle tool and let us draw a rectangle like so and then have it in the same color as the slide. Let us have this in white color. Go to shape outline, no outline. You can place right on top of that. You can extend this ever so slightly like this. And when I go to slideshow, we can see that we have the bottom portion not shown. So it looks as if somebody has drawn these hands. And then you can see that the rest of the ones appear like this. So if you're a teacher and you don't know already, we have something called PowerPoint templates pack for teachers. These set of templates are especially created for teachers and for them we also have teachers interactive bundle where we have not only 140 PowerPoint templates for teachers but also 25 interactive tabs and 220 interactive quiz templates as well. And these 220 interactive quiz templates are available separately as a product as well. However, if you get this teachers interactive bundle, you will get this and the teachers pack as one single bundle. It's a four product bundle and it is definitely worth it if you're a teacher. If you want to learn another PowerPoint animation trick for teachers, then the link to that video is right here. You click on the link and watch that video next. If you want to join our 25 creative PowerPoint ideas, five day free email mini training, you can click on the link here and join the course. I've shared 25 useful PowerPoint ideas that you can use in your next presentation. So click on the link, join the e-course and I will see you inside.